Yo, check this out. Hello. Today we're taking a look at the PC Engine. Actually, more sp specifically the Core Graphics PC Engine, which was a the second revision of the PC Engine. There was three revisions. The PC Engine, the PC Engine Core Graphics, and the PC Engine Core Graphics 2. This is the Core Graphics. Now, the, this is a very ugly looking one. I plan on getting a better looking one, but for $15, it, it was a good deal. <laughs> okay, so here's the system. It says PC Engine Core Graphics, NEC, AC Adapter, AV Out. Now this is the difference between the Core Graphics and the regular PC Engine. The regular PC Engine only has a RF out. Here is the front. On has a red sticker. This side. Here is the let's see, let it focus. The expansion for the for in the original white model, you can use the AV booster, which allows it to have AV out. Or in this model and all the other models, actually. You could use the PC Engine CD-ROM or Super CD with this. Now, I don't have it to show off right now. I might, if I get one, I'll make a review of it. It was a CD-ROM system, the first of its kind, released in... I don't remember when. It was late 80s, 89, 88. I think it was 89. It was the first beating the Sega CD and all other Sega C system add-ons. It plugs into this back port. And then it allows you to play CD-ROM games. Which look like this. This is a Super CD system game. Which requires the Super System card. This game comes in a double case, even though it is a single disc game, which many of the games do, which I have no idea why. Now, one interesting fact about this system is it has no region, no region lockout, so the American Turbo CD games, which I have one, um, I have one. These, I have a Turbo Duo, I do not have any of the PC Engine CDs. This will work perfectly fine on it, because it is a super system card again, like I said earlier. It will work perfectly fine on it. Now, an interesting thing is, because this is back when CD technology was very new and very expensive, they put the copy games, you would need thousands of dollars worth of equipment, so they didn't put any copy um, protection, uh, anything like that. So it's very easy to be a pirate and you are a pirate. So yeah. Okay. So here's what the standard games look like. They come on these little hue cards. This is winning shot. This is the only PC engine game I currently have. I have several turbo graphics games, but these systems are region locked. Here's the back of the card. Very small card. Now, the PC Engine was released in the U.S. called the, and was renamed the Turbo Graphics 16, which I have here. Now, it is quite a bit larger. Why they had to make it so much larger, I don't know. It's the same height, but it's a lot wider. The width, the depth of it is the same, but it has this cover. Which is, this is where the CD expansion is on this. So yeah, see? Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot bigger. Okay. There's other differences as well. Here's the front. Now from a distance, it looks like the controller port is the same, but this is a lot bigger than this. And the controllers are incompatible. Okay, the core graphics 
came out in 1989, and it looks very similar to another system that NEC released in the same year. And it is the Super Graphics. That the Super Graphics is much larger, has the same color scheme and everything. Now to give you an idea of how small the Core Graphics is, here is a standard dual disc case, CD case, and it is about the same size. The height of the PC Engine Core Graphics is a little bit taller, but yeah, see, it's about the same exact size, same width, same diameter, just a little bit taller. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, the NEC released like pff, a billion versions of the uh, PC Engine, official versions, came out in many versions. The versions include, I'm sure there's more, this is all I know off the top of my, off of my mind right now. The PC Engine, PC Engine Core Graphics, PC Engine Core Graphics 2, you got the PC Engine Duo, PC, PC Engine Duo R, PC Engine Duo RX, you got the PC Engine CD, ROM, PC Engine CD-ROM squared, you got the PC Engine GT, the PC Engine LT, the PC Engine Shuttle, which is incompatible with the CD system, so if you want to get that, just that's an important little thing to know. And, yeah, here's the controller. This is actually a third-party controller. But yeah, they're basically the same. You got Turbo. You got 1, 2. Now there are other releases of the controller that had 3 and then eventually 6 buttons. You got Select, Run. Let's let it focus. Okay, he's not focusing for me. Oh well. Here's the D-pad. And yeah, this is the battle pad. So it's pretty cool. And yeah, so now we're moving on to some gameplay.